Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have two suggestions. One from Mohamed uh, Bou. Hola, Mohamed. Mohamed and Mark Rimmer. Hola, Mark. Hola, Mark. Hola, Mohamed. Okay, so we put them together because they're all linked with the subjunctive. This lesson is an early intermediate. We're doing an early intermediate because everybody has to get involved in the subjunctive. Yeah, and this is not, not particularly difficult. Uh, entonces, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. So before we get into the lesson, just to let you know that if you like this kind of lesson that we, we do, then we have a, um, a subscriber option which is called Ser Socio and you can see that you can get it from the website, you can join us. Now, if you join Ser Socio, what happens is you get two lessons a week, every week, mm -hmm. yeah? But not only that, there's a back catalogue of lessons that you can cherry pick from, which they're just on every subject. I mean, we've talked just about on every subject, haven't we? I mean, we've done 300 plus weeks now. Six years. Okay, so you won't be short of a lesson. So if you do like this kind of format, then you can come and join us. It's only $9.99 a month and uh, you have access to everything immediately. Okay, so now then. Now then. Mohammed. <laughs> Mohammed, first of all. Okay. Um, he's asking about a no said que. My God, that's the tiniest. Uh, yeah, it's just a way that I've uh, Let copied letters. and pasted it. I have ever seen in my life. I mean, what is this? Size five or something? It's tiny. It's, it's I'm small, amazed that you can read that. It's one. small but perfectly formed. So, it's not the it's, first time that I've said that in my life. So, <laughs> talking oh my about God. eh? Oh my God. Okay. Talking about my brain. Now, <laughs> all right. So, I no said que. And what does a no said que mean? I mean, it doesn't translate, does it? I know to it not means. to be that, all right? Yes. To not to be that. But it translates as unless. 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 Because we also have a menos que. A menos que. So it sounds more like unless. Ah, unless. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. But then you can say a menos que or a no ser que, which they they both mean the same. Right. Unless. So unless, and in the context oh, oh. of hey, unless this happens, yeah. So a no a no ser que pase esto, okay. It's a trigger for the subjunctive, is it not? Uh, a no ser que, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a trigger for the subjunctive, and as far as I know. It's always a trigger for the subjunctive. Why? Because yes. what you're doing is you are making reference it's to a future event, a possible future event. Yes, because yeah, unless, so it, unless. It, it's not, it hasn't happened. You don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah. If it does happen, this is what's going to yeah. happen. So it's unless this might, unless this might happen. Sí. Yeah. Unless. Okay, so a no ser que. A no ser que. And then the, the next verb that appears is going to be. It's also subjunctive in English. Like, for example, in English, you can say, unless this happened, and again, unless you're using happened. past yeah. tense yeah, for yeah. something in the future, it's true. which is subjunctive. Yeah, that's that's often a, a way of understanding it, but mm -hmm. that, that's actually past, because our present subjunctive is in, in English is, is the verb itself, we use the infinitive. Yes, but yeah. you can see it better when it's the, when it's when it's past. the past, yeah. because it's not in the past, this not. is not set in the past, it's unless yeah. this happened. So you're talking about uh, something in the future, but when you use, for something in the future, you're using the past tense, mm -hmm. it's subjunctive. Yeah. But the thing is, you don't have another tense for subjunctive, you use the past tense. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. The, the subjunctive is falling out of use in the like, UK, but, yes. but uh, in, certainly not here in Spain. So, I know said que, if, you, if you're interested, if you understand the whooper um, acronym, it's afterwards. It's right at the end, it's the reference, it's the when, when this happens or if this happens. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then uh, Mohamed is also asking about con tal de que. Con tal de que. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, how is con tal de que used in Spanish? Um, mm, iré 
contigo a la fiesta con tal de que dejes de preguntarme. So it's it's the as long as, yeah. yeah? As long as or so long as, yeah. So long as, as long as, yeah. yeah. As long as this continues to happen, yeah. Then... I'll, I'll go to the party with you as long as you just stop asking me to go with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For example. Again, this one trigger for the subjunctive, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Con tal de que dejes de hacerme preguntas, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes I hesitate because I mean in my brain it goes subjunctive, but then I'll have someone saying, "Well, what about this sentence?" And sometimes, and I'm not saying that it has to happen in this case, but sometimes when I think that something is only used in subjunctive, like for example with después de que, uh -huh. which I virtually always use with subjunctive, some people say, "Well, you can sometimes say después de que with indicative." Yeah. It's like yeah, I've heard that as well. So, I would say that it's only with subjunctive. Yeah. Unless proven otherwise. <laughs> exactly. Let me give you yes, some... You know some, what I mean? My, my take on it. When we get to these places where there's this debate going on, well, I don't know, I can use it in, in it. But I don't think it would happen in this case because you're no, talking about something it's, it's again. Future, it has, this has to happen for this exactly. to happen. Exactly. It's an afterwards. So, yeah. it wouldn't... But normally, you know, if, if there's a doubt... Typically, I would just stick to using the subjunctive. Yes. You know, if some people are saying, yeah, but in some cases, these obscure, just use the subjunctive. Yes. And, and nobody's going to bat an eyelid. I mean, we did talk, we, we had a we, we had a video about antes de que and después de que. And we talked about antes de que always with subjunctive and después yeah. de que sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you don't have to use subjunctive. But I mean, the, the explanations as well are so sometimes, not obscure, but... You can still use subjunctive, you know what I mean? Sure. So I would use sure. subjunctive. Yeah. And then you in, mo in most cases. But definitely don't go to the other side of find out where you don't need to use the subjunctive not using it. Don't do it that way because it's so sometimes it's so few and far between that the majority of time most people are using the subjunctive. Yeah. Okay? All right, so then let's have a look at Mark. So Mark saying, I'm really struggling with the use of, of the subjunctive or the indicative with asegurarse de que. Okay. Yeah? To like... To be sure that, yeah. So we were we were looking at the way that that was used, and it has two slightly different meanings, yeah. One is yes. check, yes. check that that's the case, yeah. So yeah. what was the example that you give that in that one? Again, I was going to say this one would be one of those that my immediate reaction would say subjunctive, mm -hmm. because when I think of sentences in my head, all of them are in subjunctive. Then um, it could be used in, I don't think it's that often, but it could be used in indicative. For example, when it's translated as check. Check, yeah. Um, and the other one in subjunctive would be translated as make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what was the example that you gave for the check um, one? So, for example, check that she's there. Um, asegúrate de que el gato tiene comida. Okay, so indicative, no subjunctive. Check that the cat has food. Yeah. So that's like, go and have a look. Check that the cat has food. Yeah, so it's a very different thing to make sure that the cat has food. Yes. Which is now, make sure the cat has food before you leave or something, yeah? Yes, for example, asegúrate de que el gato tenga comida antes de que te vayas. Okay. So that so although that now that's quite subtle, isn't it? Check. But is there another way that you might say check rather than using that verb? Check that the cat has. Um, check. Revisa. Eh, or a different mira, way of saying it. Mira que. Mira que. But I would use subjunctive. Mira que el gato tenga comida mm -hmm. o mira a ver si el gato tiene comida because you've that used would be an if you've used a see there if so. whether he has or not yeah, uh -huh. you know? but the other one is check mm -hmm. uh, and the other one would be make sure yeah so he has but make sure if you just out of interest if you were using um, asegurarse no and you use subjunctive with that 
check that the cat has food. Would it sound? Would it sound bizarre, or would it sound? Sorry, what did you? You know how we're saying if you want to say check, you don't use indicative, but if you use the subjunctive. No, that, if you if you use check, you use indicative. Yes, but yes. if you use subjunctive with that thing, would it be? Would it sound really bizarre? No, I mean, asegúrate because it's the same sentence. Asegúrate de que tenga. In fact, you comida. Antes de, antes de que um, salgas, mm -hmm. you you did the two and you use one with indicative and one exactly the same sentence. Yeah. Yeah. So really, it's it, it's again, it's it's that fine line of is it that it, this is when you get to the point of picking picking at it like right, let's dig into it more. Yeah, and, and some people some love to do that. Oh, yes. Some people love to do that, and that's why we have. Uh, la RAE in all of these places where you can go and check for questions like this because mm -hmm. sometimes I, I'd say that most of the times you know the difference is not that big no, um, no. and then maybe there'll be times no, I'm not talking about this example with other things that yes there'll be a difference and that's not what you meant to say uh, yes but um, for this case I would go for subjunctive exactly it's when, when you're having to do this big debate, we haven't got time for debates in our head. We haven't got time to start doing an, an analysis of, of what we're going to say and everything. And the, the, the truth of the matter is, if you use subjunctive in that sentence, then it's very unlikely that anyone's going to pull you up about it. They're yeah. probably just going to check that the cat's got food. Yeah. You know? But I mean, yes, you can use uh, asegurarse with indicative and with subjunctive. Mm -hmm. And the... Uh, Clue we gave you here, if you mean to say check, then go for indicative. If you meant to say make sure, then go for subjunctive. Yeah. That would be like the, the quick. Or the um, even easier, never say check. Just say make sure. <laughs> and then you just don't, then it's a no-brainer. I prefer to go for the no-brainer. Yeah, we haven't got time to do brainers when we're speaking. Yeah. It's always mm -hmm. just that. I guess in one of them, for example, with the cat in one of them, do you think the cat already has food, but you, you know, make sure, and the other one, um, like the other one, you don't know if the cat has food. It's kind of that thing. Isn't sure, it? yeah, yeah. And one yeah. of them, I don't know if the cat has food, and the other one, it has food, but just to double check. Just check. Kind yeah. of thing, no? Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah. depending on what you mean. Okay. So there you are. There, there you <laughs> so are, uh, Mohammed, and, uh, Mohammed and Mark. And Mark. <laughs> Thank you very much for the we suggestion. We may have confused them even more after this. No, no. If in doubt, <gasps> get the subjunctive out. But don't get subjunctive either. Right? Only use a subjunctive where there's a subjunctive trigger. Make sure you know your triggers. Don't just be randomly putting subjunctive in, which, which is unfortunately what we end up doing is what I did. That's normal. That's yeah. Normal. Yeah, and I always I always like it when I, when I know somebody. For example, Neil, if you're watching Neil, Hello, Neil, Neil, <laughs> Neil um, has is decided he's working through the subjunctive now. Oh, maybe. And he sent me an email. It was filled with subjunctive. I was like, I always know when somebody's studying the subjunctive because they're just putting it in everywhere. That's exactly the right way to do it, isn't it? Muy bien, exacto. Uh -huh. That's how you start, exactly. and then you calm down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First of all, you don't put it in at all. And then you put it in far too much. And then you find the balance. After about 20 years. Yeah. Not 20 years. Oh, 15. 15. <laughs> well. Bueno, entonces, eso es todo, chicos. Muchísimas gracias. Y ahora, gracias a ti, Cintia. Oh, a ti, Gordon. Eh, ahora, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. adiós.